Ryan here, Ryan with, Dark here with Dark Rangers Inc. And today I wanted to sit down and talk a little astrophotography with you guys and talk to you about the future of the channel and really connect with you. I know I've kind of had my own content coming out each week for a long time now. We have over 70 episodes, believe it or not, in the last like 14 months or so of the channel, along with our 5,000 subscribers and our growing Patreon group. And so I did want to pause and of course say thank you guys. Thank you for all your support, all the comments, likes, subscribes. Every time I go on social media and I see somebody mention the channel, it really means a lot. The extra time that you guys take to maybe grab an affiliate link or mention my name in the comment section at checkout with one of the partners of the channel, it really all goes a long way. And of course, our Patreon group, which have just been awesome and it's a great growing community to be a part of. So now that thanks are out of the way, I really wanted to go even above and beyond and ask you, what are you guys kind of looking for? We've covered pretty much everything that has to do with astrophotography on this channel. We've covered what gear to use, how to set it up, how to acquire the data, how to process the data. We've talked about color theory. We've talked about start to finish with the ASI Air and most recently Nina. We've obviously come up with those brands that we want to work with. We've talked about some top 10 lists, going to dark sky sites, how to find them, why they're so great, and trying to motivate you to get out and go to them as well. We've really covered the gambit. We have several playlists, and I've kind of come to the point where I'm starting to run of ideas, frankly, because my goal was to get all of the content that I wish I had when I started the hobby, and I'm kind of at the point where it's mission accomplished. So this is where we're kind of having a Jerry Maguire moment, and I need you guys to help me help you. I think a lot of people feel that some of these channels that have been around for a long time kind of sell out from the channels even you know much bigger than mine that have been out for years longer than mine, why they are always doing gear content. And it's really not that they've sold out, it's that you just kind of run out of things to talk about. So what you end up doing is new gear is coming out all the time, so you're constantly reviewing it and trying to maybe sprinkle in some processing stuff as it comes out, as new things come out, new uh, scripts and processes. But other than that, you do start to run out of topics to cover. Now, one caveat I would say is maybe don't focus in so much on your little world unless you think it can apply to everybody else. We all get stuck on that one little microcosm within the hobby. I'm really looking for topics that it could be helpful to a broad audience and not only be helpful to you and maybe get you through a plateau, but also would be interesting to a larger audience and a larger group of people as well. So I don't want anything too specific or granular. And also I would check back uh, over the last 13 or 14 months and see if it isn't something that's covered. I actually get requests for a lot of content that I've already done a full episode on. And once I forward them the episode, like, oh my God, I can't believe I haven't seen this. I thought I saw all your content and this is perfect. It answers all my questions. I'm also thinking about growing the community more. So I wanna do something like a dark sky offsite where you know we do a workshop for folks that are maybe more beginner to intermediate where we can go to like a Bortle One Sky site. I have a place potentially in New Mexico that can host about eight to 10 people. It would be really nice. We could bring some gear out that you guys could use and you could also bring your own gear. We would image, we would show you how to process it. We could even maybe do a couple follow-up classes remotely and really help you learn how to set up, acquire data, just get under some of the best guys in the world and especially here in the United States and then what to do with that data. And I also wanna do a second annual Dark Rangers Inc. astrophotography contest. Last year's went awesome. We have so many more brand partners now than we did last year. So I think we can get even better prizes and stuff to make it a lot more interesting and exciting. And I did want to just kind of check in with you guys on what is that official partner list so that you know who to go to for your gear. Obviously, Telescope Live was one of the first and then continuing to use a Gina Astro for all of those odds and ends. Please go ahead and copy the link that I have in the description to your book bookmarks. It doesn't have to be product specific. As long as you click on any link in my description or the website within five days, that really helps. And then we also have Ogma cameras where you can use the discount code DRI1 to get a discount and also help the channel. We have Stellar View telescopes where you can just mention me at purchase or on the warranty card Los Mondi where you get a free power supply when you purchase amount, which is like a hundred dollar power supply just by mentioning the channel. Uh, Astronomic 
sent out a bunch of filters that I'm gonna be testing in the not too distant future. I have already been testing them, so the review will be coming out in the not too distant future is what I meant to say. And they've been awesome to work with, so I do think that they will end up being a good partner in terms of filters. They're out of Germany, that's all they do and they've been performing great. So because of that, I did actually add High Point Scientific because Agena does not sell astronomic filters, so I will leave the link in the description there. So I know some of you guys don't shop with Agena, so you can actually now support the channel through High Point. The reason I only try to find one major brand for each thing is because I think that that shows that I really have the integrity to pick what I find is the best option rather than just saying these are all good because if they're all good then really none of them are good or special so i try to find one and then of course prima luce which you can pick up at either one of those places both high point scientific and agena uh, filippo the owner there has just been awesome to work with their gear is the best in the business and i'm just really happy to have all these partnerships and hopefully we can you know leverage these when it comes down to contest time we also have the opportunity to do anything that you guys want i was also thinking about potentially doing some remote workshops where we don't have to maybe get together physically but if we wanted to do a processing workshop with a group of you maybe a small group since I do offer one-on-one -on -one classes maybe you can't do the one-on-one -on -one, but maybe a small group so really just trying to open it up to you guys and see what you want I am not a marketing expert I don't have focus groups to figure out what you guys are looking for I kind of do in our patreon group but they're always just so positive that I'd like to hear some stuff from you guys from some of the subscribers as well what do you guys want from the channel? What would you like to see? How can we better the community? How can we better your astrophotography? The mission of this channel is better astrophotography through education and community. And that's really what it's all about. So guys, I know this was a short one. I didn't teach you a new tip or trick, but I wanted to connect with you guys, say thank you, tell you how much I appreciate you. I hope you guys appreciate the channel and the work that goes into it. And really just ask you guys, hey, the future of Dark Rangers Inc. is really in your hands. What do you guys wanna see? Let me know and I will try to make it happen for you. So I also wanted to give you guys some updates on the channel and some things that I'm planning. Let me know if the uh, Dark Sky adventure would be fun for for you guys to go to like a really cool Bordel One place. We would have some lodging that would be indoors and fairly comfortable, but we'd also be in some of the darkest skies in the country. Maybe if you have some other ideas, I'm open to it. And if anybody would like to help me with the annual contest, I will come up with some form of really awesome compensation or prize for you. I'm gonna need help organizing all of that because last year it was a massive undertaking. We got a ton of entries. And so if you are somebody that's good at organization, uh, I'd love to have you on board. And if you just wanna help out the channel in general, if you wanna be a part of it, uh, maybe you're retired and you have some free time and we can exchange maybe for some uh, processing coaching or whatever else I can can do for you guys let me know i really want to take this channel to the next level and kind of shift into a second gear here now in year two and in order to do that i need your help so guys as always until the next one clear skies Dark Rangers Inc., where you come to get the best astrophotography knowledge and learn how to drop bangers. Not that lame crap you see on Facebook. Like and subscribe for more astro content and check out darkrangersinc.com.